Funding for Not a Vampire is provided by viewers like you. Find perks and bonus content at patreon.com slash notavampire. Thank you. And special thanks to Eric for not only giving me this idea, but making sure that I keep with it. In my Death in Degrassi series, I've tried to go in chronological order of every death in the show. However, there is one death that I've neglected to bring up, which is kinda unexcusable because it's not only the first time a character on the show died, but also Degrassi's first on-screen death. The character of Egbert didn't have a long run on the show, but he helped to develop the ongoing story of Spike's pregnancy and Shane's struggle to deal with the situation he helped to create. Introduced in Degrassi Junior High Season 2 Episode 1, we first see Egbert in Spike's pregnancy support group. Spike brings him home as a way to prepare for the birth of her child by giving her someone to look after or find care for, to demonstrate that everything will revolve around taking care of her baby if she decides against adoption. This leads Spike to bring Egbert to school, where we see him interact with her friends, is given a face by Alexa, and most importantly, is present when Shane tries again to make up with Spike. By this time in the series, Spike has given Shane the cold shoulder because she feels he isn't willing to deal with the negatives of having gotten her pregnant and only wants to be around for the good times. She also resents that he seems to be choosing the easy way out and not telling his parents what happened while Spike has no choice but for everyone to find out. But she also still likes Shane and wants to be wrong about her judgement of his commitment to her and all the baggage that comes with still being in her life. So she puts Egbert in his care as a sort of test. For one week, Shane has to take care of him to prove that he's going to stand with Spike, especially when it's inconvenient. Unfortunately, this leads Shane to be mocked by his classmates, clearly demonstrating the contrasting perceptions between Spike looking after Egbert and when Shane does. People would constantly remind him that he is taking care of Egbert and had to take him everywhere he went. For the most part, Shane weathered this well until Lucy announced that she was having a party. And by that point, parties at Lucy's house were well expected to be a blast. Here, Egbert became a source of conflict for Shane. He needed to take care of little Egbert so that Spike would trust him, but he also didn't want to miss out on what promised to be the party of the term. And even more difficult, Spike would not watch Egbert on Shane's behalf, partly because she wanted to go to the party, and then also because she wanted to see how Shane would handle a baby conflicting with his desire for fun. And initially, Shane did stay home to be with Egbert, but the draw of the party was too much. As he said, lots of parents bring babies to parties, but he unfortunately made it clear where his real priorities were. Joy snatched Egbert and began tossing him like a ball to other people. When he was thrown to Shane, Shane didn't end the game of hot potato. Instead, he joined in and passed Egbert along, clearly choosing to have fun over keeping true to his promise to Spike. To Shane, he felt justified in his choice because Egbert wasn't really his son. He was just a stand-in whom he could ignore whenever because it was all pretend. But that wasn't how Spike saw it. To her, Egbert was a symbol of the baby she was carrying and who would affect her life no matter if she chose adoption or not. If Shane felt that he could just ignore his responsibility to Egbert when it was convenient, couldn't he do the same to Spike and her child? But Shane refused to see the situation from Spike's side. Her distress of Shane went beyond Egbert who was just a stand-in for the very real and soon-to-be-born child that they created. Then, to prove her point in a fit of passion, Spike killed Egbert throwing him to the ground in an unusually gory way for Degrassi. Still very angry, Spike left Shane alone, Egbert's broken body at his feet, forcing him to consider the choices that led to Egbert's death. Finally, Shane understood what Egbert meant to him and Spike, and determined to rectify the wrong he'd done to Egbert. The episode ends with Shane telling his parents that he got Spike pregnant, and thus chose to face the consequences of his actions. Though his run on the show was very short, Egbert certainly had a lasting effect on Spike and Shane, who would continue to grapple with the question that he posed to them. Are they ready to deal with having a baby? Unfortunately, as the series goes on, Shane will both reaffirm his commitment to Spike and their child and waver on it, stand up to his parents and insist he'll be there for Spike if the baby isn't given up for adoption, and also withhold the support that he can give when it again gets in the way of fun, causing Spike to question how serious Shane is about being a good dad. Like every other death in the show, Egbert's story didn't end when he was gone. He continued to influence the lives of those closest to him. We first see Egbert. We first see Egbert in Spike's. We first see Egbert in. We first see Egb. So she puts Ed. So she puts Ed. Egbert. I can't say this fucking name. Joy snatched Egbert and be. God damn it! I never want to say the name Egbert again.